Hey there guys, this is Sam and Justin at the Survival Review and today we're going to be talking about The Amazing Spider-Man 2 mm -hmm. which Justin has already gone into depth in uh, his video yes. uh, but uh, this video is going to be kind of our combined uh, talking about spoilers yes. and things like that but before we do that uh, I'm going to give my opinion on the movie mm -hmm. which is pretty much the same as Justin's. Um, it was not a very good <laughs> film uh, it had its flaws, um, the, the main one being they just tried to cram way too much into one movie. Mm -hmm. um, there's way too many pointless things going on that just didn't <laughs> need to be there, and it added nothing to the movie. Um, but it wasn't a bad movie mm -hmm. by any means, it was just not good. Uh, so out of ten? Out of ten, it's kind of tough. I'd give it a Six out of ten. Alright. So now you want to talk about spoilers? Sure. Alright. So, where do we begin on this movie that has way too much going on? Well, I mean... Well, when you talk about the one spoiler that every, every Spider-Man fan knew going in, yeah. that Gwen Stacy was going to die. Was going to die. Yeah. Um, that yeah. was... And that scene was good. I thought the scene was good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. They handled but it But then well. they totally rushed it afterwards, but... <laughs> you know... That was that was bad afterwards when they just like rushed to like five months later, and yeah. he's like, "Oh, I'm not Spider Man, but now I am." Well, <laughs> what? It it was weird. But the it, the exact death scene I thought was handled well. Yeah, like when her head hits the ground, I didn't expect that. Neither did I. I was, I was like, it, it ah. was it was kind of yeah, it was better than expected. Yeah, from yeah. this movie. Yeah. Um, it um, was. Go ahead. Oh, here you go. <laughs> well, in my opinion, the performances were mm -hmm. really good on their own. It's just the writing that wasn't there. Yes, that was the main problem with the movie, is yeah. the writing. And the uh, a good example of that would be um, uh, the very short appearance of Rhino, uh, played by yeah. Paul Giamatti. Yeah. Um, Who for those gave the worst performance in this movie. It was... <laughs> So bad. Oh, God. That and was... going into it, like, he told me uh, Paul Giamatti was going to be playing Rhino, and I was like, wow, that's awesome. That could be sweet. And and then I see it, and he's barely in the movie. Basically, he was doing what uh, Tommy Lee Jones did in Batman Forever. He's exactly. like, He's like, oh, it's a comic book movie, so I have to be big, and I have to yell a lot, and I have to be over the top. Because it's a comic book movie, right? I can't be serious in that. Exactly. He would have yeah. been cool as like a Russian mob. Yeah. Sister. That would have been he cool. Could've, he could have done it so well and he just didn't. Like, he did it really yeah. bad. Like, I don't want to see him in future installments as no. a villain at all. I Not at all. And I, I think it would be better off if they had cut the part of him in the costume at the end. Yeah. And just have maybe in the beginning that was kind of like a hint that like, oh, that guy does become the rhino later on. Then that would have been fine. But then they bring him back later on just, in the movie. Yeah, they just, have one final fight in the last scene of the movie. Which is, I mean, it's not even part of a fight. It's kind of just like a build of like... Yeah, it, they don't even show the fight. It's pretty much like, something's about to go down, and then it cuts to yeah. credits. Yeah, and because the whole idea is at the end of the movie, he stops becoming Spider-Man for like a five-minute period in the film. Exactly. And <laughs> so this is him, like, he's back now. And it's like, who, well, who cares? He hasn't been gone for that. Well, he's been gone for five months, but like... Screen time wise, we screen just saw time. Him. It's been what five <laughs> minutes? Yeah, five minutes since we saw him in that last action scene. It, but do you agree that Harry Osborn was the best part? He was really good, except um, for when he became the Green Goblin, because that was totally rushed. <laughs> yeah. What What was the actor's name who played him? Do you know? He was good. He was, I I don't really recognize him from anything else. He was in Chronicle. That's all I. I know that's he right. He was. I, I I know exactly who he was. He was the bad guy in yes. that too. It, he he's a good actor. Yeah. He, I, and I was actually, like, buying him his story. Even though, like, the more I think about it, it does kind of not make that much sense that Norman Osborn died from that disease after a lot of years, and now all of a sudden Harry's dying right away. Yeah. The, so that doesn't make sense. But I was still more invested in that than Peter finding out about his parents. Exactly. And Or the one thing I mentioned in my review that I absolutely hated, the whole um, reveal that, that like, um, uh, his dad's blood was in the spider or yeah. something. I hated that. <laughs> it was so dumb. It, it's like in that, Scream 3 where they're just like, oh, this killer is actually behind the last two movies. And you're like, no, he yeah. wasn't. You know he wasn't. <laughs> I, I hate when they connect things that don't need to be connected. Exactly. Anymore. It's so ridiculous. It, and, and that's why I didn't give the movie that, like, ter terrible of a, re of a review. 
because I didn't hate anything in the movie besides that one thing. <laughs> besides that, there wasn't anything I really hated in the movie. Yeah, I didn't hate a lot of things about no. the movie. There was just a lot that I was like, eh, right. it that, could have been done so much better. That opening scene uh, with uh, his parents from the airplane, what was the point of that? None. There was no point whatsoever. Like, he was uploading something to, like, a computer? Like, did we ever find out what that was? I don't, I don't think we did. I think it was the video Was it the video? Itself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if right. you say so. But that was just, like, a really pointless action scene. It was. It was really just not... And, I don't know, this was just me, but, like, as I mentioned in the video, I didn't have too much of a problem with the tone. No, I got really. saying, I'm saying the tone was all over the place, and I can kind of see where they're getting at. Sometimes I have a lighthearted scene, and all of a sudden be serious the next scene. But I didn't find the tone to be that, like, jarring every time it changed. Not really. Didn't um, I mean, I've seen... I mean, they do that a lot in comic movies where, like, they have a light-hearted moment and then they have a serious moment. And that's something that I think Andrew Garfield does a good job of, is playing both the serious part of Peter yeah. Parker, but also being just the snarky, sarcastic yeah. guy that's spider -Man that, that was the best part. He was a Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. He, he's an interesting Spider-Man. Yeah. I think... Personally, I think he plays Spider-Man way better than Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because Tobey Maguire, I mean, it could also have been in the writing, but Tobey Maguire was more just, like, there yeah. doing stuff, where in this one, he, Andrew Garfield's having fun with it and everything. That's really cool. I like that opening action scene with uh, Rhino. Yeah. Besides Rhino. <laughs> um, besides him, I like that action scene. And like I said in the review, the costume is, is awesome. Yeah. The, the costume, costume is, cool. is a really good Spider-Man costume. Mm -hmm. So the actor playing Norman Osborn... I can't know his name, but he's been in a lot of stuff. He was in The Born Identity, and he's a good actor. And, like, he's in the movie for one scene, and yeah. they kill him off. So, so, so that was pointless. That. Um, movie, they, they were trying to, like, build up so much that they weren't... They, like, there was no central story to follow yeah. in this movie. There, there were so many things. Like, and all the tiny little pointless things, like... There are two airplanes going to crash <laughs> if we don't airplanes. get the power back in the city. That was stupid. Oh, man. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, that was stupid. It's so dumb. Or, or Aunt May becomes a nurse. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there was that. <laughs> there were... It's just like, I don't care. Or even like... The writers just tried to come up with so many little sub things to to add in. Oh, this is, this is, that'll add something <laughs> yeah. to the movie if we put in this and pointless yeah, scene. Even though... Not as bad as the Raimi movies, but the love story I didn't buy, similar to the Raimi movies. Yeah. I just didn't really, I didn't really care every time that was happening. Like, the actors have good chemistry, but... Yeah. But, like, the, I didn't care that Gwen Stacy was going to England. I don't care. Yeah. It was just... <laughs> Whatever. It was just there to give them something to do. Like, Gwen Stacy, I thought was really bland in the movie. In this one, yeah. It was... You know, nothing against the actress. No, I nothing think... Nothing against the acting in general for I movie. think they're all but, really good actors. I just don't think the writing was there for them to no. work with. No. They, they're they just... They're trying so hard to, like... Or, like, I don't like how everything is related to Oscorp. Yeah. Like, why does everything have to do with Oscorp? Everything. Like, why does... You uh, see Doc Ock's, like, tentacles, and yeah, the vulture's, and like, wings. You see Electrode that? himself yeah. is an employee of Oscorp. And... That's another problem with Electro. I thought when, um, when he was, like, the nerdy guy, I thought that was just too goofy. Yeah. Uh, I just, I mean, it, I like he, Jamie Foxx, I just thought Jamie was... Foxx is good, but that was he was too goofy. a little bit of a, he was a little over the top with the character. Yeah. It, it was... Yeah. I thought he was cool when he was Electro. Yeah. But then again, he didn't do anything for the middle half of the movie. Exactly. <laughs> so I thought he was good as Electro. And I liked, I liked the scene in uh, Times Square. Yeah. That was a really good scene. It I was really a cool it. scene. Except for the weird, like, chant where you can hear, like, his inner thoughts. Yeah. That was really stupid. <laughs> there's, there's always something to bat. Like, if you think of something good, there's always something stupid in that Exactly. Good thing. <laughs> there's always something stupid to combat it. Yeah. It's... <laughs> so it's really hard to be completely positive about this. Yeah. It... It's like, the too much buildup, man. It's like, it's not telling its own story. Too much, like, oh, hey, this is a good tie into that movie. I was like, okay, like, that's one of the things why, like, Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man 2, is a much less complicated movie, and it's so much better, because it has a focused story. Exactly. And you actually care what's going on. They're you, not like, hey, this connects to this, this connects to that. You don't you need it? to have two dozen different things <laughs> going on to make it an interesting plot. Like, the, like I said in my review, the villains actually aren't the problem, and there's that many villains. No. It's every, you, just the writing. you can handle that many villains in one movie, you just have to know how to write yeah, a but good even, movie. even then, like, the villains themselves, like, throughout this movie, the main villains are just uh, Electro and Harry Osborn. That wasn't the problem. It was just, like, the 10 million other subplots that were thrown yeah. in. It wasn't the villain plots. 
But like, yeah. Oh, and there's a post credit scene that was a clip from X Men. That was yeah. funny. <laughs> that was <laughs> random. <laughs> because you know. Yeah. Because they have to promote it. They have to and promote X Men. It has nothing to do with Spider Man. No. It's not like there's going to be a crossover or anything no. like that. It's just to promote and Days of Future Past. Just like the Amazing Spider Man one, there's a ton of stuff in the trailer that's missing from this movie. <laughs> Uh, so much like there's a lot of stuff. There's that scene where like, where um Harry Osborn is like, oh, Oscorp has been watching you to Peter Parker. He's like, oh, why is that? Yeah, that's not in the movie. <laughs> Are these? Like, there's even more stuff with uh, Norman Osborn. There's a way he's like, where he's like, what about Peter? And he goes, not everybody has a happy ending. That's not in the not movie. Really. And I just read earlier there was a post credit scene that's not in the movie. Yeah, they were gonna have. Something to do with, he with, was uh, just with like Norman Osborn, like his head is in like cryogenic like freeze or something, so he's still alive, which I figured he'd still be alive because I got that actor to play him. Yeah. And the one thing that they've been building up for since the first movie, the secret behind his parents, is the most generic by the numbers <laughs> explanation ever. Basically, uh, Oscar was doing sort of genetic research that they didn't like, so <laughs> so uh, so Oscar had them like killed. Yep. That's basically it. It's like, oh, I couldn't figure that out myself while watching the movie. It's like, stupid. <laughs> it was like, all that, film, like, I mean, that subplot was barely even in the first movie. They forgot about it after, like, 40 minutes. Yeah. But they bring it back in this, where it also felt random that they brought it back in this movie. It, it just wasn't. It was just like one scene out of nowhere. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue researching about my parents. I'm like, okay, if you want to. <laughs> Whatever. It was just, yeah. Like, I couldn't get invested in, like, the scenes. This, the action scenes were good. Yeah, uh, the action scenes were all choreographed and all that. Yeah. And like the slow motion actually worked. I thought slow motion did. was actually cool. Um, in the scene in Times Square when there were all the people on the stairs that were about yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. And like the one web shooter was broken. Mm -hmm. That was a cool scene. I like that. Even though it was in the trailer. Yeah. Like every other action scene that was in the trailer. Exactly. Including the last shot of the movie. The last shot of the movie is in the trailer. <laughs> Just... It, what like are I was, you doing? Like, I was reading that in reviews, and I thought they were trying to say that that was the last shot of, like, the action scene. No, that's the last shot of the actual movie. <laughs> the movie ends on that shot. And so that was, like, like I said in my review, those action scenes would have been so cool, seeing them for the first time on the big screen. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. Because like, I thought they handled those really well. But they just... <laughs> trailers today mm -hmm. are so... I mean, that, that is mostly Sony, though. Because they marketed the heck out of this movie. Yeah. I forgot how I forgot they spent so much money on marketing. I read, I don't know how they're gonna make all of that back. Yeah. But like I mean, you can I mean most movies actually like trailers now. I like stuff for Godzilla for that. They haven't been showing too much. But then there's Spider Man. Just like oh here's five trailers. Got that. <sighs> and in two years there'll be another one. Yep. Uh, Yay. Maybe they'll be have a focus story. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, hopefully. They can, you know, take some advice from some of the fans, mm -hmm. some of the critics, and because they they have they can do it. <laughs> they, it can be done. They have good actors. Yeah, they have, actors, I think the director the director is good. Yeah, I I'm sure they can do well. Just <laughs> they can do well. Put some time into the writing. Yeah. So so both recent uh, amazing Spider Man movies have been just. <laughs> I can't really say which one's better though. I feel like they're both flawed for like the same. Like yeah. I mean, they're both flawed for different reasons. Like how we both really like the two J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies. Exactly. And they're good for different reasons. It's like that except bad. Which is funny because it's the same screenwriters as Star Trek, <laughs> as the Star Trek <laughs> movies. But they're bad for different reasons. Like for the first one, the tone's all over the place and stuff like that. And this one, the tone's better, but it has all the plot issues. So they're both just... Uh... Oh, another negative while we're at it. The Stan Lee cameo sucked. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> That's so something we should always bring up in Marvel movies. Yeah. I, I like when they have the... I like waiting for the Stanley cameos. Yeah. It's always interesting. Even or the, hopefully interesting. The and first, it was so bad in this. The first Amazing Spider-Man had one of the best Stanley cameos. It was <laughs> a really good one when he was in the library. Yeah, it was, that was awesome. It was funny. And this this one... one just, it was just quick. He was just a dude at, at the graduation, graduation. And he said, I think I know that guy. Referring to uh, Peter Parker. Because Peter Parker's in the graduation, like, um, what you ever call it, with the mask on. And it's like, ah, uh, I get it. Ha ha ha. Ha. <sighs> uh, Whatever. The sad thing is we'll still be seeing the third, <laughs> the third yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Hopefully they'll win from this. Hopefully. Yeah. 
But that's all right, because Godzilla's next. And exactly. That better be good. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. It, so, so, until, until then, then we'll, see you guys next time. I just interrupted you like three times in a row. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs>